Witness weather forecast. Well, good morning. It is a nice mild start to our day with temperatures that are sitting in the 50s this morning, which compared to really the rest of this week when we've been waking up in the 30s near and even below that freezing mark, big difference stepping outside on this Friday. Let's take a look at some of the numbers. Wilkes-Barre and Scranton were at 58. Hazleton starting off at 59. Mount Pocono 56. And Sealands Grove, we're coming in right around 55 this morning. We had a couple of showers overnight last night that came through. A lot of us are drying out right now. There are one or two showers that are still going to pop up through the remainder of this morning. Just to keep an eye out for and something else that has developed overnight some areas of patchy fog. So don't be surprised to see some fog or another shower through the rest of this morning. By midday, we really should find some dry time. But here's the bigger picture. And that cold front, the central area of low pressure, that's what we're watching for late today going into early tonight. That will be that main line of showers and even a couple of thunderstorms that will come rumbling through that will time out in just a minute. Over the next 12 hours, temperatures in the upper 70s to near 80. Really wouldn't be surprised if there were some areas that made it to the lower 80s today. Well above that average for this time of year for the first time in quite a while, by the way. The average right around the upper 60s to near 70. So let's jump into Futurecast, and here come those showers. Just one or two left over the rest of this morning by that lunch shower. We're really drying out. And then it's a game of how much sunshine can we actually get through midday. Early this afternoon, an isolated pop-up shower or thunderstorm, but it looks like it's late today, this evening and tonight, that we get a good line of showers and storms to move through. That will stick around into very early tonight. Then this all moves out of here, and we have one shower left over around the middle of the night, but by tomorrow we're drying out. We'll start off with a little cloud cover, but then through the afternoon, those clouds thin out. We get some good sunshine for our Saturday. Now, as far as those showers and storms are concerned for later today, we do have that severe potential. And remember, the amount of sunshine we see this afternoon is really going to be a big player on that. So the main severe threats for today would be a good gusty wind or very heavy rain with any thunderstorm. But wouldn't be surprised if there was a little hail that tried to mix in on top of that. So something you want to keep checking back for, for those of us that have allergies, medium today for that pollen count. And some of that rain will try to help maybe just a little later on. Near 80 today, your eyewitness weather forecast. It's windy and warm. The wind will be at 10 to 20 miles per hour. But remember, the afternoon looks pretty dry. It's really later on today that those showers and storms come through. Those taper off tonight, 74 for the high tomorrow. Beautiful day, plenty of sunshine. Sunday showers will mainly hold off until late in the day at 68. Monday and Tuesday scattered off and on showers as we continue to cool off. We'll dry out Wednesday and Thursday and make our way back near 70. And don't forget about the Eyewitness Weather app. That can always be downloaded to our phones and tablets. Forecast is always available as well at pahomepage.com. So, Kelly, there's a lot of factors coming in play with that potential for severe weather later on, and that's something we'll be looking for later today. I wouldn't call it a slam dunk for severe weather, but definitely something to monitor. We know something that you guys will be tracking very closely, but then looking towards this weekend should be really nice uh, after today. Stefano, thanks. Well, Eyewitness News will be